Hi everyone, it's Miss Stevanna again. I hope everyone had a great week at school. So in honor of Thanksgiving, I found a great Thanksgiving prayer that I thought we could say. I'll put the words on the screen so you can read along with me. Get your hands ready. We thank you, Lord, for all you give, the food we eat, the lives we live. And to our loved ones far away, please send your blessings, Lord, we pray. And help us all to live our days with thankful hearts and loving ways. Amen. Can we do our cross? So today our lesson is about Advent. What Advent is, it's 40 days leading up to Christmas. So it starts on November 15th, so we're currently in Advent, and it goes all the way up until Christmas. Advent is to prepare us for Christmas and for the birth of Jesus. While preparing, we can fast, we can give back to the community, and we can reconnect with God. Throughout Advent, there are six Sundays, and each Sunday, the gospel reading carries a theme, which is to help us prepare for the birth of Christ. An example of one of the themes is the story of the Good Samaritan. And the theme of the Good Samaritan is that we should always be there to help our neighbor when they are in need. A neighbor is someone that actually lives near you. A neighbor could be a friend in school. Anyone is a neighbor and we should always be there to help when they're in need. So how do these lessons in the gospel readings prepare us? Well, first we must show mercy and compassion towards others. We must look within ourselves and see how we can further our relationship with God. And we cannot let possessions come between us and God. I know with the Christmas season, a lot of things are on our minds like decorations or gifts. And we just have to remember that Christmas is about the birth of Jesus. And while gifts may be fun to receive under the tree, there's a reason that we're getting them and it's because of God. While fasting during Advent, it doesn't have to involve fasting food. It's anything that could be counterproductive in our relationship with God. So this could be taking an extra few minutes at night to say a prayer. It could be, it could be getting one of those papers on the angel tree at work and picking out a gift for a little boy or girl who may not be able to get as many gifts. It could also mean giving up meat or dairy if you would like to also fast that way. We fast in order to pray. So when we fast, we're getting rid of something that could be blocking us so that we have a clearer mind and a clearer heart when we go to pray to God. When talking about Advent, there's a big word almsgiving. And when you break down almsgiving, it means kindness or a kind act. And that relates back to St. Nicholas, who is also talked about a lot during this time, because he was a great example of it. And when we think of Jesus' sermons in terms of charitable deeds and everything that he did, it relates back to almsgiving, which is important during Christmas time. So while it's fun to look at all the decorations and write our Christmas lists, it's important to remember that it's about the birth of Jesus and that's what we should be remembering during Advent and preparing ourselves during Advent. Okay. Thank you guys for listening to my lesson. The answers to my questions are due on Sunday, November 29th, and have a great Christmas season.